Tonight, Lafayette City Hall is quiet after protesters were denied entry this afternoon. Chris Welty finds out what the group was hoping for and has reaction from the Guillory administration. He continues our team coverage. I'm like a council member there in the building. But if we can't come in the people's house, then we pay taxes to open. Security would not let protesters inside Lafayette City Hall. Officers standing by in the lobby. Say his name! Trey! Say his name! Trey! Meanwhile, the protesters sitting at the main entrance of the building began chanting, singing, and even sitting in silence for 11 minutes. They say that represents the number of shots fired Friday night. This is a tactic that is used all around the world. But the truth is, they don't want to hear from you because they don't care what you have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mayor President Josh Gillery. Monday was the first time Mayor President Josh Guillory has publicly recognized Trayford Pellerin's family. Immediately when I heard the situation, look, I began praying and praying for, for his soul and praying for his family. But I recognize I could have, re I could have formally recognized that earlier. Guillory says there is a family and community in pain, but maintains protesters need to remain peaceful. I have a duty to protect life and property. And I will do so. Guillory meeting with faith leaders behind closed doors Monday. And I did offer an apology for things that could have been handled differently, perhaps. We don't know. We'll have facts that will come out that will that will give clarification. Protesters and community leaders are still demanding answers. We would like the body cam footage. We would like the security footage. Please have faith in a system. It's not my system. It's not the mayor's system, it's the people's system. So it takes a little time to get through that. In Lafayette, Chris Welty, KTC TV3. Those protesters at City Hall condemned the crash and shooting outside city trends off the thruway late last night. A juvenile is in connection, is in uh, or custody, I should say, in connection with the incident, which left two people wounded. One community leader says looting and shootings is not the solution to any problems. And we can do things the right way, but breaking in to buildings, setting fires or whatever y'all are doing that is negative. This is not us and this is not the way to resolve the situations that we have when it comes to police and community relations. Well, this was the scene at the Acadiana Mall earlier tonight. Police patrolling the area after Facebook posts claimed busloads of protesters would converge on the shopping center. We spoke with Lafayette police within the last half hour. They say officers are still patrolling that area, but there's no activity at the mall. The other big story.